Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the poinsettia doily. And this is a free pattern online. And um, when I saw it, uh, it reminded me of the pretty Christmas plant. So I decided to call it poinsettia for that reason. And I would say this is for intermediate skill level. Uh, we will make these front posts double crochet stitches here and otherwise it is uh, not difficult at all um, and my doily here measures about 12 inches in diameter and I use three colors of crochet thread it's uh, size 10 these are all leftovers from other projects. I'll make first two rounds with light green, third round with the darker green, and the rest with red. And my crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters. Let's get started. And with my light green thread, make a slip knot. Then chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now slip stitch in first chain to make a ring. And first round, we need to make 24 double crochet stitches in a ring. The first one, we start with three chains. This is the first double crochet and now double crochet 23 more in the ring. And finish this round with a slip stitch in that third beginning chain. The second round starts with six chains. The first three count as first double crochet stitch and three chains. Now double crochet one in each next two, one and one. Then chain three, one, two, and again, double crochet one in the next and one in the next. Chain three. This repeats all around. Two double crochets, one in each next two, then three chains. And to finish this round since we started with three chains that counted as first double crochet now we finish with one double crochet next to it and then just uh, slip stitch in that third beginning chain and now i will cut off my first color thread You can make all the all these uh, first three rounds with one color if you prefer. I will fasten off. Make a slip knot with second color. I will join it in this last three chain space and on third round we're going to make triple crochet st stitches the first one starts with four chains this counts as first triple crochet and now chain seven three three four 
seven. Now I'm going to make my triple crochet in that same chain space where I started. So yarn over twice, insert hook through that space, yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, pull through next two loops, yarn over, pull through last two loops, triple crochet. And now next triple crochet will be in next chain space. Again, yarn over twice, insert hook through the next chain space, pull up loop, pull through first two loops, pull through next two loops, pull through last two loops. Now chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, triple crochets. First one will go in that same space where you did the last one. And the second one will go in the next chain space. Chain seven. And repeat, first triple crochet in the last space, next triple crochet in the next space, chain seven. And to finish this round, I did the last triple crochet here. Here are my beginning chains. Count the fourth one, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch in it. And here I'm going to cut off my second color thread. That's enough. On fourth round, I'm going to join my red thread. And we need to make nine double crochets in each of these seven chain spaces. Going to join my thread here in this last space. Chain three, this is the first double crochet. Now double crochet eight more in this space. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And including the beginning three chains, you have nine double crochets. And now go straight to that next space here, skipping the triple crochets and make Again, nine double crochets. And this repeats all around. And this is how my fourth round looks. It waves a lot because we made a lot of double crochet stitches. We have 12 of these parts and uh, we will need to block the styly uh, when we're finished. So it's okay for it to wave right now like this. Uh, finish the round with a slip stitch in third beginning chain. To start round five, first slip stitch in that next double crochet chain three this counts as first double crochet and now double crochet one in each next six so we have seven double crochets in each of these parts Five 
legs including beginning three chains I have seven now chain three and on the next part here skip the first double crochet you also skip the last one here skip first one here so skip two double crochets and double crochet in each next seven Three, four, five, six, and seven, and chain three. One, two, three. Again, skip next two double crochets. This one, the last one, and the first one, and double crochet seven then chain three and repeat and as you see it still curls quite a lot to finish this round chain three and slip stitch in third beginning chain and starting round six again first slip stitch in that next double crochet chain three this is first double crochet and now make four more one in each next four one two three and four skipping the last double crochet next chain two then single crochet in the next uh, three chain space chain two skip first double crochet here and double crochet in the next make five one two three four five skip the last chain two single crochet in next chain space chain two again skip first double crochet make five here and repeat to finish this round I did two chains single crochet two more chains and slip stitch in third beginning chain round seven again slip stitch first in that next double crochet chain three for the first double crochet and two more double crochets one in each next two one and two Now chain two, double crochet in that next single crochet here, chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now double crochet in that same single crochet stitch you did the first double crochet. next chain two now skip first double crochet double crochet in the next so here we make three double crochets one two three skip the last and again chain two double crochet in that next single crochet stitch chain seven three four five six seven 
and double crochet in that same single crochet stitch chain two skip next double crochet and double crochet three and this repeats all around and to finish this round I did last two chains slip stitch in the beginning third chain and to start round eight again first slip stitch in the next double crochet chain three this is the double crochet now chain two more double crochet in that next double crochet here then chain three and now count fourth chain on the seven chain here one two three four and in that fourth chain make three double crochets one two three then chain three and double crochet in this next double crochet chain two here skip the first one double crochet in this middle stitch so just one here skipping also last one and chain two repeat double crochet in that next double crochet here chain three count fourth chain here one two three four make three double crochets in it chain three double crochet in that next double crochet and then two chains one double crochet here two chains and again repeat here three chains three double crochets three chains so first it's the double crochet then three chains to finish uh, this round last two chains and here count the third beginning chain one two three slip stitch in it to start round nine first need to slip stitch in these next two chains here one two also slip stitch in this next double crochet here and next chain three this is a double crochet and chain three more two three and here the next double crochets we're going to make front post double crochets so first one around the post of the first double crochet see on over and now insert your hook not through the loops up here but around the post of this first stitch from front to back to front again yarn over and pull up loop now yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops this is the first front post double crochet and next one goes around that next stitch yarn over insert hook around the post pull up loop pull through first two loops pull through next two loops then chain two now we're going to make another front post double crochet around that same stitch we did the last one yarn over and then go around that same stitch here it's that middle of the three 
pull up loop pull through first two loops pull the next two loops one more front post double crochet around this last double crochet here insert around the post pull up loop first two loops and last two loops chain three double crochet in the next double crochet chain one skip this double crochet here and double crochet in the next chain three and again front post double crochets so first two first one around the post of first stitch second around the post of second stitch chain two now again first one through the post of that same stitch second one through the post around the post of that last stitch here and chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip next double crochet double crochet in the next and repeat three chains and two front post double crochets here two chains and two more front post double crochets chain three and to finish this round Again, find third beginning chain and slip stitch in it and starting round 10 from here first chain three and now chain three more first three are double crochet and we're going to make front post double crochets again so first two here where we did the two on last round one and two then chain seven two three four five six seven and two more front post double crochets so here are the next two make a first one and second now chain three and here we're going to do two double crochets together the first one going into that first double crochet here pull through first two loops leave last loops two loops on hook and then start the second double crochet in this stitch pull through first two loops now have three loops on hook pull through all of them then chain three And again, uh, front post double crochets. First make two. One around each next. Then chain seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now two more front post. One. And two. Chain three. Two double crochets together. Chain 
chain three and repeat and to finish after last three chains I'm going to start the double crochet in this next stitch now finish now insert hook in the beginning third chain pull up loop and now pull through three loops and starting round 11 first slip stitch in next three chains one two and three so here we have to do front post double crochets again for the beginning one first i'm going to slip stitch around the post of this first stitch so here insert your hook as if you're starting the front post pull up loop and pull through the loop and hook this is the slip stitch then chain three and now front post double crochet around next stitch chain two and here in this seven chain space double crochet seven two three four five six seven chain two and two front post double crochets and two and here between chain five one two three four five skip this part go into the next front post double crochet and make again one in each first one and second one and then repeat chain two seven double crochets in that big chain space and chain two and then again two front post double crochets and here chain five to finish this round i did last five chains again we need to do the slip stitch around the post of this next stitch this is the beginning chain of the last round so again insert hook around it yarn over pull through and we start round 12 from here again same way chain three and front post double crochet chain two and now we double crochet one in each next seven stitch and chain one between one double crochet one chain seven double crochets chain two then again two front post double crochets one and two and here 
chain one and double crochet one find the third chain and this five chain here make a double crochet in it chain one and repeat two front post double crochets chain two and here the same double crochet one in each of these seven stitches and chain one between and then again after them chain two and two front post double crochets and then you do this part one chain one double crochet one chain and to show you how my lily looks so far definitely very curly to uh, finish round 12 I did chain double crochet last chain again slip stitch around this beginning three chain here insert hook pull the thread through here and through loop on hook Start round 13, same, chain 3, and front post double crochet. Next, chain 2, and we're going to make 6 single crochets in these one chain spaces so skip the first double crochet go in a chain space single crochet and then between them chain three two three second single crochet chain three third chain three four chain three and fifth chain three and six after six single crochet chain two and two front post double crochets one and two and now chain one double crochet in this double crochet chain one and then start over two front post double crochets two chains and then the six single crochets, chain three between. So single crochets again go in these one chain spaces here. To finish this round, again, dip last one chain and slip stitch around this beginning three chains. And starting round 14, also same, chain 3, and front post double crochet. Chain 2. And now skipping these first two chains and single crochet, single crochet in the next three chain space. Then chain three, single crochet in the next one, chain three, single crochet in the next, chain three, single crochet, chain three, 
and single crochet. So on this round we have five single crochets here. Then chain two and again make front post double crochet here. One and two. And next chain two and two double crochets in this double crochet stitch. One and two. Chain two. And again front post double crochets. And then repeat two chains and then single crochets chain three between and then two chains and two front post double crochets and then this part two chains two double crochets two chains and finish again the same way last two chains insert hook under here yarn over and pull it through through the loop and hook round 15 starts the same chain three and front post double crochet chain two Go into the next three chain space, single crochet, chain three. So we are here we're gonna do four single crochets second in the next space, chain three, third in the next space, chain three, and fourth in the next space. Now chain two. And here, two front post double crochets. One, two. Now chain two, double crochet in that first double crochet here. And then chain five, two, three, four, five, and double crochet in that next double crochet. Chain two, and two front post double crochets. One, two. And here continue the same two chains and then single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Two chains and two front posts. And here again two chains, double crochet, five chains, double crochet, two chains. And finish again after last two chains. Insert hook around that beginning chain, yarn over and pull it through, also through the loop and hook. Chain three, round 16, and front double crochet. Chain two single crochet in the next three chain space so here we do three single crochets chain three between second three chains and third then chain two and two front post double crochets Now 
next chain two and in this five chain space we're going to make first four double crochets one two three four then chain three two three and four more double crochets in the same space four then chain two and next are the front post double crochets here one and two now continue make two chains and then the single crochets one two three and chain three between one here and here then after single crochet chain two and again front post double crochets and here two chains four double crochets three chains four double crochets two chains and repeat finish same way after last two chains insert hook under these beginning chains yarn over and pull it through round 17 start the same chain three and front post double crochet chain two single crochet in next three chain space chain three and single crochet in next space so only two single crochets here then chain two and two front post double crochets next chain two double crochet in our first double crochet stitch chain one skip next double crochet double crochet in the next chain one skip next double crochet now double crochet in a three chain space chain five five and double crochet in that same space now chain one skip next double crochet here double crochet in the next chain one skip next stitch double crochet in the next then chain two now here again front post double crochets one and two and then continue with two chains single crochet three chains single crochet two chains two front post double crochets here again you do two chains one double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain double crochet here between five chains again double crochet one chain double crochet one chain double crochet two chains and then repeat and finish same way last two uh, chains here are my beginning three chains insert hook under yarn over pull through and starting round nine uh, 18 same way chain three front post double crochet 
here, chain two and single crochet in this chain three space, chain two, only one single crochet here, then two front post double crochets. Then two chains. Now we're going to make nine double crochets, starting with that first double crochet here. Next we'll go in that one chain space, two. Next in a stitch, three. Next in a space, four. Next in a stitch, five. And four more in that five chain space. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then chain three. Same on the other side. So first four double crochets in that same chain space. One, two, three, four, next in a stitch, five, next in space, six, in a stitch, seven, in a space, eight, in a stitch, nine. Chain two and two front post double crochets. And here again, just chain two, single crochet in three chain space, chain two. Continue here, two front post double crochets. And here the same two chains, nine double crochets, three chains, nine double crochets, two chains. Finish again with a slip stitch inserting hook behind that beginning three chain, pulling thread through and again chain three starting round 19 and front post double crochet then just chain one skip this and go to the next front post double crochet so make two here and two Then chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, skip next stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip next, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip next, double crochet in the next. Again, chain one, skip next, double crochet in the next. Now chain one, double crochet in a three chain space. Chain three, and double crochet in that same space. Chain one, double crochet in that first double crochet, chain, skip next stitch, double crochet in the next, chain, skip one and double crochet, chain, skip next, double crochet, chain, 
skip next and one more double crochet chain two and two front post double crochets one and two and then chain one and again two front post double crochets right here one and two and then repeat again this part two chains and then you do one two three four five six double crochets chain one between here chain three six double crochets chain one between and two chains and finish again slip stitch insert hook behind the beginning three chains pull the thread through and last round 20 so here we have to do the four front post double crochets together the beginning one i chain two not three then start second front post double crochet in next stitch pull through first two loops leave last two loops and hook so then start next front post double crochet here pull through first two loops now three loops and hook and start the last front post double crochet pull through first two loops now have four loops on hook yarn over pull through all of them next chain two double crochet in the next stitch and now we're going to make three chain pico one two three and slip stitch in our first chain then double crochet in the next stitch and again three chain pico one two three slip stitch in the first chain double crochet in the next stitch Three chain pico, two, three, slip stitch in first chain, double crochet in the next, pico, and double crochet. Again, pico double crochet six double crochet is made one more will go into this three chain space but first make pico again and now double crochet in a three chain space here we do pico again and then double crochet in that same space and then do the other side same way so first is the pico and double crochet in the next stitch and repeat this all the way down here till the last double crochet then you do two chains and let's do the next four front post double crochets together again 
And when you count here, you have 14 double crochets and then 13 picots. After last double crochet, chain two and four front bows together, starting the first one in a first stitch to finish. Then start second one to finish. Start third and start fourth. And now we have five loops on hook, pull to all of them. And then continue two chains and start the double crochets again and picots. And to finish, after last two chains, I'm going to slip stitch in top of that beginning front post double crochets here and cut off thread fasten off and this is how it looks uh, after finishing next uh, need to weave in all these ends and I'm going to lock my doily. So first I'm going to make it wet, then stretch it out on my blocking mats, attach with pins. Uh, I will use some spray starch to give extra firm shape and then let it dry completely. Here is my finished doily, looking much better after blocking. And I hope you have fun making your own poinsettia doily. You will find the written pattern on my blog. The link is in video description box below. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!